Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today we're making a good old deep dish pot pie in my iron skillet. Boy, is it good. And then we're gonna reach right here and we're gonna start making us up some gravy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the skillet, start getting it warm. Put some butter in there. We're gonna be using some of my broth from boiling a chicken. We've already boiled a chicken. And you can boil your chicken a day or two before if you want to and then just leave it in the pot and then heat it up on the stove. That's what I did today. And so now I've got all this broth that we can use to make our gravy. And I'm gonna put a little milk in it too to make it creamy. So let's get out about at least a couple of there's one cup. A couple of cups and then we'll add a little bit of milk to it too. So let's go ahead and put in a cup of milk or so. We're gonna make us some delicious gravy, y'all. So I'm going to need a little bit more shortening or oil in here. So you're going to need about a half a cup of um, shortening and butter combined. So I put in about a quarter cup of butter and now about a quarter cup of shortening. And then we're going to add our flour in here. It's about a half cup of flour. So you should have about a half cup of shortening or butter to a half cup of flour for your gravy. Put some salt and pepper in it. Pepper. Pepper makes it good. And our flour. And you don't have to sift your flour. I just always have because if you do, then you don't have to worry about having lumpy gravy as much. Which you shouldn't have to worry about if you use a whisk like I do. Not really. So we're going to let that get down in there. I'm going to mix that up. My oven's preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to be baking this in an iron skillet, one of these tall ones, just like what I'm cooking this gravy in. But I'm not using the same one. So while that's trying to brown a little bit, I'm going to come over here. I've got two cans of mixed vegetables, and all I'm doing is draining them into the sink because we're going to throw them in this gravy. Now, if you want to get you out some frozen vegetables, you can but boil them in some broth and get them tender before you put them in the oven. If you don't, they will be crunchy. So if you're gonna use frozen vegetables, that's fine, but cook them first before you put them in your um, pot pie. I'm gonna turn around behind me while that's browning. And I'm gonna take a pie crust, this is just a refrigerated pie crust from the store in the refrigerated section and I'm going to unroll it into the bottom of this three inch iron skillet this makes the best chicken pot pie yummy yum and come back over here and as soon as that starts to brown good we're going to add our liquid to it all right that's nice and brown I'm going to go ahead and Add our liquid to it and make our gravy. There's a couple of onion in there from boiling the chicken. And you can strain those off if you want to, but you don't have to. And as soon as that heats up, it'll get thick. And then we're going to add our vegetables and our chicken to it. Throw it in our pan. Get it in the oven. It's going to bake about 
50 minutes. You're going to want this to bake about 50 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Really, if you want to turn it up to 375, it's even better because you're going to want this uh, pie crust to turn real good and crunchy and brown. That's why I like using an iron skillet versus using a lighter glass bakeware, piece of bakeware, because this will get it browner. All right, it's thick. I'll turn it off. Beautiful gravy for our pot pie. I'm gonna taste it and see if it's salty enough right quick. Good stuff. All right, so we're gonna throw some chicken in here. And like I said, I boiled this chicken and then I just took, uh, put the whole pot in the refrigerator. And I do have an extra refrigerator, so I can do that. And then I heated, got it out, heated it up, took her out. And now we're just adding some chicken in. I'm going to save part of this chicken to make some Mexican chicken with. Me and Chris got some avocados at the grocery store. And both of these recipes, I believe, is in the volume one cookbook. They're go-tos for my family, something we eat all the time. Um, and boy, are they delicious. So you can use half your chicken in this pot pie, and then you can use half your chicken in chicken and dumplings, because you still got plenty of broth, or make you some Mexican chicken, or whatever you want to do. Casserole. I like getting the whole chicken and boiling it. It makes it nice and tender. The meat's good. Um, it's not hard to pick off the bone. You see how easy it is. Love it when I get out a big chicken. They know I'm cutting up a chicken or cooking in some chicken. I never put this piece in there. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. It's off the thigh. I always give it to them. All right, let me wash my hands. Yep. They sure do, don't they? So wash your hands. And now we're going to mix these vegetables up. This is such an easy supper. And you would be so surprised at how much better it is than opening up a can of cream of chicken. Making this gravy makes all the difference in the world. And uh, there's nothing wrong with using canned vegetables. They're good for you. Especially when you're a mama and you've got kids to feed and you've been working all day and you want to come home and throw something together, buddy, this is one of the best pot pies you will ever taste. I promise. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Okay, so we're going to get it in here. And you're just going to leave that just like that. Kind of curled up on the sides like that. And then you're just going to pick this up. It's so heavy. some of that weight out of it. And you want to pour it in the skillet. If you don't have one of these nice deep skillets, you can use uh, a baking dish. But I'm going to tell you, if you don't have one of these, you should get you one because they're good to fry chicken in. And boy, do they make a good pot pie. And they're not that expensive on Amazon. You can go to our store and uh, check it out. Our Amazon store under cookware. They're 10 inches. It's a 10 inch skill if it's 3 inches high. Right. Yeah. All right. So we're going to unroll this piece, sit it right in the center, like so. And then you're going to take it and you're going to let it ruffle around the edge, just like that. And then you're going to take your knife and put a couple of slits in it. Get it in that oven, y'all, and we'll be eating something good in about 50 minutes. Woo! Delicious. And heavy.
Well, it's good. All right, we're gonna dip into this. Show y'all how good it looks. And this is the flakiest crust when you use these. I just love using these pie crusts. And I have let it cool down just a little bit so that it wouldn't smoke too much for y'all. Well, what's great is you got plenty of crust. I dumped that on there so y'all could see how much crust it has because that's the best part of a pot pie. And then we'll put some good stuff on the top. You're talking about a good pot pie. Look at it in the skillet, y'all. How that crust is in the bottom. See it's not stuck. Really, really good. This is one of my favorite things and one of my kids' favorite things to eat. Guess I better take a picture. It's time to eat and Chris is hungry. Ain't you, baby? Y'all, I've made this for y'all quite a bit, but if you're new, you haven't seen it yet, and I bet a bunch of y'all still haven't made it. A lot of people have made it because they've sent me pictures, but let me just say it's the bomb. Mmm. Now that's just comfort food. It's just good old comfort food. One pot meal. Y'all give it a try. I guarantee you the family's going to like it. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.